Welcome back in where we hear it all too many times. Scammers trying to open accounts in someone else's name, taking money and tanking credit stores. We are on your side this morning, of course, with Stuart Welch from the Welch Group with some strategies to foil the scammers. Good morning to you, Stuart. Thank you for joining us as always. Good morning. So we're talking about uh, the, the scammers and I mean, you really, they just really make you so angry with what they do. So Toy, you won't believe this. I prepared this segment maybe two weeks ago. <laughs> I just got scammed. Someone oh just stole my credit card and I got notified from uh, my credit card company that uh, they had charged $90 at Applebee's somewhere <laughs> probably on the West Coast. Wow. So, uh, you know, every, you, and what's really important is that you set up yourself so that it doesn't, it doesn't go away in a big way. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, uh, you know, with that, there are some things that you guys you can do, of course, to foil these scammers to make sure that you are protected in case this happens to you. Because it could happen to anybody. It happened to you. It, ha it just <laughs> happened. A money to me. expert. How yeah. about that? Yeah, and I think that there there are three big ways that people scam people, and there are three defenses. So I'm going to start with the first one, which is what I call use text alerts. Mm. So on credit cards or your bank account, I've set up like on my credit card. Every time I spend 20 bucks, it automatically not sends me a text notifying me that that has been spent. So if somebody gets in and uses that, the first thing is I know about it really quickly and can stop it. Yeah. Uh, and to do the same thing with a bank account. So if a check is cashed over a certain amount, let's call it $500, pick a number, uh, then you get an, a text notification that a check is cleared. Mm -hmm. And so that you, again, can catch that really early. So that's the first way they steal credit card or they steal bank information, uh, and they use that to make charges. Yeah. The second big way is they get enough information to actually open a credit card, which is My much goodness. harder. You have to have a lot more information. Yeah. I've got a tennis buddy uh, that just had this happen to him, and they started opening credit cards and bank accounts across the country. Oh my goodness! He he was able to catch it early, so he didn't. He was not financially. So hard. how do you how do you? Protect so I think the from best that? the best uh, defense there is what's called a credit freeze. Mm -hmm. So you go into the credit agencies, the uh, uh, Experian, uh, uh, TransUnion. You go into those and you put a credit freeze. That means nobody can open an account. Uh, without your permission. So uh, if you decide that you need to do something with credit, you can unfreeze, like I did an unfreeze for a week, and they came in and got to check my credit, and then they refroze it. So that stops those people from opening accounts that you don't know about. And by the way, that's the most damaging one. Yeah, definitely. And then the third one, and this is happening to you, it's happening to me, it's mm -hmm. happening to everybody all the time, is they're trying to get you to click on something. Of course. Uh, on your computer, or, or, or it's a phone call. We're seeing it happen in dating apps. Uh, you know, where people are coming in and getting you to give them money and, and get information. Very quickly, if you could give one rule of thumb for folks when it comes to avoiding these types of situations. If it feels weird, don't do it. If, mm. I mean, it's just don't, don't do it. If it has, if you have your spidey sense kind of goes off, just know I'm not going to do this. I'll go and double check it another way. Absolutely. That sounds good. Double check. Stuart Welch with the Welch Group. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you, George. We appreciate you. All right. Well, love knows no age.